Kevin, welcome back. Um, how'd your trip go? It was a great trip. All in all, uh, a really good experience. Um, obviously, it was surreal being in the, that environment and that setting, and I'm sure you can uh, echo that. It was amazing walking to the ring with thousands and thousands of fans, some cheering for me, some jeering, but just the atmosphere was absolutely electric and honestly a feeling that I'll carry with me for the rest of my life. The fight result didn't go your way. Let's just talk about that. Round one, you were all over him. Yeah. Obviously in round one, um, I was feeling him out and he put together a combination. He threw a hook to the body and I counted with a one-two over the top. And I landed him flush on the top of the head, which obviously sent shockwaves down his body, resulting in obviously a twisted ankle or knee, whatever it was. But let's not forget that the punch that dropped him is what damaged his leg. Um, then obviously he gets back up to his feet, unsure of what happened. Uh, I try to put the pressure on him again. He takes a knee. The ref counts him up again. He gets back to his feet. I try to put the pressure on him again to end him. He takes a knee. And then it was at that moment that the round obviously was ended at 2 minutes 49 seconds, which allowed Daniel to go back to his corner and recover. And then obviously in his corner he said to his trainer, what happened? So he obviously didn't even see the shot that landed him and, and, and was not compass mentis of, as to what was happening and why he was there and what happened, you know. And obviously it was a missed opportunity from my behalf, but I do feel we were hard done by the ending of the round because a lot can happen in 11 seconds. You know, had I managed to get another flurry in on him or land him with telling shots like I landed him that dropped him, it could have been the end of the fight and a change to the result. And these are questions that I would always ask, you know, but it is what it is and we can't hop on it. We've got to rest on our laurels and move on. In hindsight, looking back at round two, do you think that was a missed opportunity for you? Yes, I think um, I should have put the pressure down and the hammer down more in round two. So definitely a missed opportunity, but also having said that a hurt man is a dangerous man and you still need to be calculated, perhaps I was a little bit too risk adverse and too calculated. Round three, he knocked you down? Yes. Talk us, up, talk us through that. Yeah, Daniel caught me with a perfect straight right hand down the middle in uh, round three. I saw the punch coming. I felt the shock, I, took an, I, I dropped to my ass, I got back up, I made the count. I knew where I was exactly every single time. I knew the punch that dropped me because I saw it coming. I got back up and I tried to recover by moving a bit. He then put pressure on me at the, on the ropes, throwing a barrage of punches. I still came back myself throwing, I think, three left hooks and one of the left hooks landed him. He then caught me with a superb uppercut through the middle. And when he caught me, I, saw, I felt it happening the whole time. So it wasn't like I wasn't there or I didn't know what was happening. I then heard the end of the bell go at the end of the round, and that was it, it was over. So obviously I got hurt from being dropped, and I got rocked on the ropes, but, but I wasn't down on my back. You know, I believe, I honestly feel I should have been given the minute to recover like Daniel was given the minute to recover. Obviously, referee Howard Foster didn't feel that way, but I believe in cases like this, in championship fights, you have to give the fighter the benefit of the doubt to recover. In the event in round four that I wasn't recovered and I got caught again, fair enough, in the fight. But I think you've got to give that minute to recover because that minute recovery made the world of difference for Daniel. What could the minute of recovery done for me? Would you like a rematch? Most definitely. I think a, a rematch is very fitting. Can I tell you why? Not just because I'd like to have another crack at the WBA belt, but we both know we possess the power to hurt one another. We, I dropped him in round one. He then took a knee twice after that due to the fact that he didn't know where he was and he wasn't, comp he's, he wasn't fully compass mentis. He put me on my ass in round three and rocked me in round three, which shows excitement. There was excitement in the fight whilst it lasted. So a rematch is most definitely fitting. I'd love the opportunity for a rematch, um, but the most important thing is to settle the score. Daniel beat me based on the fact that the ref jumped in and stopped the fight. Nothing to do, no discredit to Daniel. I think there's now a mutual respect between both of us. We both know we've got the stopping power to put it on one another, but I do think it was a very premature stoppage in the sense of give the man the benefit of a doubt and allow him to recover. But all in all, I had a great experience. It was great to share the ring with Daniel. You know, after the fight, there was no hard feelings. He said, man, what did you hit him with? You hit hard. And I said to him, you hit equally as hard too. So it was crazy. It was electric. And I do think I'd like to run it back. You had a great team with you on this trip? Most definitely. I'm very fortunate, you know, fortunate to have my entire team there with me. Supersport, you, Sean, my promoter, Rodney Berman, my trainer, Peter, my whole corner, and all my supporters that came with me. It means a lot to me. And also I want to give a special thanks and a special mention to my sponsors who have stood behind me. They've played a significant role in me getting this far. 
and the journey is not over. This is what happens in high magnitude fights like this on the biggest stage. You just got to dust yourself off and come back. And that's that championship mindset and that winning mentality which I have. So I just want to give a special thanks to my team, Supersport, my promoter, my trainer, my beautiful wife, my children, and all my sponsors. Thank you all very much from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Be safe. When can we see you in the ring again? What's next? I oh, mean, as soon as possible. Like I said, um, I'm, a, I'm a fighting man. I'd love to get out there ASAP. Obviously, we don't know where we're going to get out there. You know, we created a lot of interest. And I've been getting a lot of messages saying you've made an input in this heavyweight division. And I think there's some nice paydays for you in the future. Obviously, it's not always about the payday. It's about opportunity. So we just want more opportunity. And I think Saturday's fight that happened showed there's lots of opportunity and lots to come from Kevin Arena.